Got some stuff cooking up in the crack pot over here. This is a tri-tip. I just threw some bone broth in here and let this thing sit overnight. This will probably be uh, ready to go tomorrow. Out here in Bodega Bay, California, about to hit up a run. Let's right, listen around here in Bodega. We're still getting after it. Still running up, doing the best I can. Getting snot flying all over my face. On my walk run, and I ran into this. Maybe I can have a bench dedicated to me someday. For all the walking that I do, and all the walking that I'm encouraging everybody else to do. Stay on top of those walks. I'm on my walk run right now, trying to mainly run all the hills out here in Bodega Bay. And uh, it's a real ass kicker. We've got another hill coming up. You see the fog. I love this place. It's, it's really, really an extraordinary extraordinary place we're not near the beach at the moment i kind of ran away from the beach i'll be heading back that way in a minute i'll show you some footage of that as well but this area is so weird it's like this sometimes and then sometimes it's super sunny uh sometimes it's like rainy and stormy where i think my house is gonna blow away <laughs> but i love the peace out here i love coming out here and uh Right now I'm just with my mother-in-law. My wife's gonna come up tomorrow. But it's a way for me to kind of get in touch with myself and just, uh, I don't know, just brings a certain peace to me. Um, not attached to work or slingshot or super training gym when I'm out here. And that's a pretty cool feeling. It feels amazing to be 43 years old and to feel the best I've ever felt, to be in the best shape of my life. But I got it because I'm getting it. And that's the only way you'll ever you'll ever have it yourself. You have to go out and get it. You have to go out and earn it. Earn your discipline and you'll earn your freedom. Don't do as I say, do as I do. Get that invention off your chest. Start doing that podcast. Start writing a book. Start walking. One day, turn your walk into a brisk walk. One day, turn your brisk walk into a run. One day, turn going into the gym at 12 years old into being a fucking powerlifting monster in the bench pressing 854 pounds, squatting 1,080. It all starts with small steps. It all starts with getting inertia. It all starts with getting momentum. And the only way you're gonna get it is if you go out and get it yourself. One foot in front of the other. Gratum ferociter. Step by step, ferociously, consistently, constantly. Never giving up, never slowing down. Other people will want to wreck your dreams, your hopes, and they're going to say, why are you doing all that? You can say, fuck you. I'm doing it because I want to be better. If you want to be the same, then you stay right here and keep spinning, keep spinning in circles and keep cutting corners and keep chasing your tail. Strength is never weakness. Weakness never strength. Catch you all later. Some of these hills out here are stupid. They really are. Like, this one doesn't look bad, but it be bad. I'm just going to try to record most of it. My mother-in-law got a PR on her blood sugar this morning, 94. She only took one metformin in the morning. Today we're going raw. We're uh, not going to take any drugs. I'm not gonna have her take any drugs for today. And uh, gonna get her to exercise a little more. Yesterday, what led to the PR was a three mile walk with resistance because of the hills. So, I'll we'll have to figure out some ways to simulate 
resistance. She goes on her normal walks, maybe a light backpack, maybe a little bit of a weighted vest, just to give her a little something. Um, and then she needs strength training. Those of you that have parents, uh, those of you that are listening that are older, you can still gain muscle mass 60, 70 years old. So it's never too early to start a good thing. Um, you know, take it one step at a time and progress into the big three squat bench deadlift, bent on rows, overhead press, just like anybody else would. Woo! Kicking my booty. I run across here. Still got more of a hill here to go. Sorry for the wind. Nothing I can do about it. Trying to pick up those feet, pick up the knees. You're gonna hear me breathing. Fuck nasal breathing at this point. <laughs> Pushing through the best I can. Legs are totally gassed. Still finding a way. Freezing out here, by the way, too. I just want to cry. weird camera work oh. well it's not rocket oh. downhill from here you ever hear that before here it is all downhill from here I'm gonna walk the rest of the way which isn't very far I'm gonna walk it out 
so I get my breathing calmed down before I get back into the house. Keep pushing, push, push. You saw me pushing. You gotta push too. I've already made it. I already got millions of dollars in the bank. I already have a successful business. I'm already in shape. I'm already lean. I'm already jacked. I'm already tan. I already power lifted my biggest weights I'll ever lift. But what drives me, one is my family. I know everybody's watching. You guys drive me, I know you're watching. What drives me though too is, what have you done for me lately? What shape are you in right now? I don't care about what you did. I don't care about what you've done. What are you doing now? CT Fletcher's still getting after it. He's still training. Hugh Jackman is still deadlifting. The Rock, look, Rock's made it. By the way, shout out to The Rock and his family. So sorry for the death and passing of Rocky Johnson really inspirational professional wrestler for many years and inspiring person to millions of fans millions of people and i'm sure that had to be that's his mentor that's his sensei that's his dad man just uh god bless all of you and uh do the absolute best that you can you know try to find the traits in that person that died and uh, have those things that you admired most, have them live on for, through you to carry out their legacy. But man, it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter where you're at at the moment. You can keep working towards getting better. And it also doesn't matter what you've been. It doesn't matter what you've been. You're not gonna be any happier when you get to your goal. You're gonna be happier in the pursuit and the chase of your goal. Trust me on that one. I know, I wanted to bench 800. And then it turned into 900. And I barely missed an 887 bench in a competition. And that's what my heart and brain focuses on. Not so much on the 854 bench. I wanted to squat 1,000 pounds and it turned into 1,100. But I did 1,080 and then got crushed with 1,085. Remember what the definition of success is here. You want to have a worthy cause a worthy thing that you can pursue. And if you know where you're at and you know where you want to go and you got momentum towards where you're at and where you're going, that's being successful. So it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter the physique you have, the strength you have, the things you have, the things you had. None of that is, none of that is relevant to what I just said. Where are you at? Where do you want to go? Are you heading there? Because even someone who's great can be in a constant decline. And that's not very impressive. That's not very attractive. That's not what greatness is all about. Greatness is all about a relentless, a non-stop pursuit of getting better. And that's what I'm after. I know many of you are too. Uh, gonna grab my mother-in-law. We're gonna go lift some weights. And uh, I think we're gonna shop a little bit and uh, no eating of any kind. I had a little bit of tea this morning, decaffeinated tea. Maybe I'll have some bone broth with no added calories to it, no added butter or anything. Just to give me a little something, but uh, no calories, no protein really being taken in throughout the whole day. I'll probably eat my first meal at like two or four, somewhere in there. On another walk and uh, just got done with a little bit of weight lifting. Put this one over here. How was it? It was actually great. It was fun. Felt, it felt good? It felt good. It yeah, felt she was good. handling some 15 pound dumbbells on some rows. Uh, we had her, or 15 pound kettlebell. Had her work on some deadlifts to work on kind of a hip hinge type thing. Had her work on some squats, some uh, lat pull downs, seated row, a little bit of triceps on the way out to get that pump. <laughs> and uh, okay. now I think we're gonna go maybe see a movie go shopping for some eggs and meat. 
Just got done watching a movie. It was really good. About to eat some salmon. I'm at Whole Foods. Bought a bunch of hard boiled eggs. About to start feasting. Got some epic bone broth. This is the one that I buy. Epic bone broth. Beef jalapenos. The best tasting bone broth. And then I threw in two eggs. And I threw in some of this Kerrygold butter. And I'm just going to add some salt. And I mix it up in the Ninja Blender. Out here hitting up another walk in Bodega. Got my little light on so we don't get hit by a car. Got Grandma back there somewhere hanging in there. Time to check in on this crock pot. Let's see what we got going on in here. Whoa. It's just a tri-tip sitting in, sitting in some epic bone broth. Here we go. Look at that bad boy. That looks good. There we go. Voila. Thick slice, dry rub, bacon. Look at that. I feel like I'm pretty much done for tonight in terms of eating, but I might cook up like a burger or some eggs with this. Um, not quite sure yet, but I feel like I could just use maybe a little bit more food. So, let me cook up one more thing. That's pretty much it for today. I'll uh, get a shot of it in here in a second. But I uh, just wanted to sign off, and um, there we go. Another day, another day of World Carnivore Month. I want to encourage all of you who haven't jumped in yet to jump in. For those of you that are already on it, keep staying on it. Keep staying with it the best that you can. Stay as honest with it as you can. When you have options like this, bacon, sausage, uh, any any cut of steak that you want, uh, any type of uh, ground beef, you can eat uh, elk, bison, chicken, turkey, any sort of wild game that you want. You have a lot more options than you think, and uh, it's you got you owe it to yourself to really stick to it. I weighed 225 this morning. That's the lightest I've been. That's the leanest I've been since I competed in bodybuilding uh, about a year and a half ago. Feeling great. Uh, was able to nail down a walk run today and uh, got another another three miles of walking afterwards um, out here with uh, my mother-in-law. And uh, she's doing really good. She had some uh, tri-tip that we put in a crock pot over here with uh, some avocado for her dinner. She's doing great on World Carnival Month as well. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later. I went ahead and went through with it and cooked up some eggs. Look at those yolks. Oh my God. Are those duck eggs? Oh, and I made some bacon. That's gonna be it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow.